so high. So I decided to do a uh, like makeup routine. It's definitely not by any means gonna be a tutorial because I don't wanna make it seem like that I think I am some makeup person who knows how to tell people what to do, cause I don't. As part of the weekly vlogs, I have been you know, doing a thing where I talk while I do my makeup and I have enjoyed that. So I decided to do a full routine. So this is what I wear for my makeup nearly every day. So I'm just gonna do it. We're just doing this, we're doing it. So first I always start with sunscreen because we live in Florida and the sun is no joke. And I mean, no matter where you live, you should be wearing sunscreen every day. I need a mirror. And I like this one because I can put it directly on my face in like a dropper and I feel like those Instagram people who put like oils on their faces, you know, like letting it drop down. And then on top of that, I do a moisturizer. Um, this also has SPF in it, but I like to do a separate sunscreen just cause I don't know, I want to. And also it might be weird, but this has the very distinct smell of sunscreen. And I kind of like that smell. Like it reminds me of being on vacation. So I don't mind it. So now we'll do my primer. So I actually like to do a primer water or like a spray instead of a regular primer. For a long time I used this one, which is the Smashbox one, which is still really good, but it's really expensive. And so I'm trying this Wet n Wild one. I have the rose one. It comes with this little cute pink cap. Isn't that adorable? So I've been liking this one. It's fine, it's cool. It costs like $4 and it smells like roses. So cool. So once that is mostly dry, I'm just gonna fan myself a little more. Once that's dry, I'm going to put on a little color corrector. This one is from NYX. I just do, a little brush and I take a little bit anywhere where I need like some extra coverage assistance. Mostly always my chin is like the area for me. Just where there's like redness, I just put that there. And then I'm gonna give that time to dry onto my face and I'm gonna go to the eyes. For my eye primer, I use this um, Tarte concealer that I bought in the wrong shade a long time ago and just kept to use as an eye primer. It's almost out though, so I'm gonna have to do something about that soon. For now, I just put it on and then I use this concealer brush from Sephora to get it all nice and blended in. And then on top of that, I put just like a light colored shadow. So I usually do one of these two. This is the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. It's bomb, it's amazing. I've, as you can see, I've used it a lot. So um, I just do one of the light colors there. I do it just to kind of like set the concealer and make a nice clean eyeball for me to work on. So I always start with a matte shade to go in my crease. Normally I use one of these two in the Lorac palette, but today I'm actually gonna use this one. So this is a custom Anastasia quad that I made. Like the, I just bought like the, the pans and put them in there. So I'm gonna use this one right here. And I just take that on this like fluffy crease brush and I put it in the crease right there. And I just do this in a like a lighter color that's like similar in tone to what I wanna do so that it kinda just blends everything nice together. So then I'm gonna take this burgundy color right there. And I'm gonna put that in like my outer corner. That's gonna be on the outside. And then we'll add the glitter last. We'll come back again with that later, but now I'm going to take this really pretty sparkly color right there. Glittery but not like chunky, which is what I love about it. And we'll just go over the whole lid. Now I'm gonna get more of the burgundy color and just go back because I don't feel like it shows up enough. And it's just like going back and forth between those two colors and making it how I want it, basically. So mostly done with eyes, so I'm gonna start doing my foundation. Some days I don't wear foundation lately, but most of the time, I always do it at work, but sometimes like at home, I don't feel like doing it, so I don't do it. The one I've been using for a while is this L'Oreal Pro Matte one. I wore this one on my wedding day, so I trust it. And then I just take the sponge and I blend it all in. This one is from Target. It came in like a pack of five of these. I also really like the, um, the orange real techniques one but this is just what i had on hand i like beauty blenders too but i'm kind of over um paying 20 dollars for one sponge so i don't think i'll buy those anymore they're really really good obviously but like this works just as, as well and it was like three dollars so what time is it one of one of what chris those you need to watch. Oh my god. <laughs> Foundation's done. We're gonna go to concealer. So I use the Tarte Shape Tape. So I just do a little under my eyes. Only a little though. Like I hate in those videos where they do like a giant triangle. Like that's just, it. you're using so much product. Like it's painful to me to watch. And then a little on my chin. Basically wherever we had that green concealer uh, corrector. I'll just put some there. Then 
I take my same concealer brush and just blend her in. And then I just, for good measure, a few little taps with the sponge. And then real quick, I'm just gonna set my powder. I use this, uh, what's this called? Press powder from NYX. This is like the best pressed powder ever. So I don't like loose powder. I think it's too messy. It gets everywhere. I can never make it do what I want it to do. And it always creases up under my eyes. But the pressed powder from NYX is so good. I usually get it in yellow or white. But they also have like a green one for color correcting and stuff. It's just really, really good. And then for the rest of my face, it's pretty easy as well. Um, I love the Fenty stick. I've had this for literally probably three years. And it's just now getting to the end. I still have that much left. So I'm obsessed with this. I love it so much. I have a whole blog post about it that still gets a lot of hits, which is really interesting. I don't really know why. But I just put it around there and then I use brush to blend it in. This is like a, it's definitely a, a knockoff of those artist brushes, but it's from Real Techniques and it was like $15 and I really like it a lot. So you know what? I'm fine with my knockoff. Wow, we love that, cool. And then we'll take a little blush. I always use some variation of like some pinky mauve blush. This is the Sephora birthday gift from a few years ago. I'm just trying to use it up. I've never in my life used a full blush. Like I feel like it's the hardest thing to use. So we'll see, I'm getting there on this one. Cool. And then depending on the day, I wear two highlighters just because that is the kind of person I've become. They're both from Fenty, so I use this one first, a little um, matchstick, and then I use this one. Oh, she's beautiful. This blinding, sparkling diamond bomb. So I start with this one, I just put a little on my finger. So then on top of that, I just take this beautiful sparkly highlighter, and put it like pretty much wherever I want, honestly. Almost done. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. So I use Anastasia Dip Brow. The color I have is blonde, and this is the lightest shade that they have, so even it is a little bit dark, so if I'm too heavy handed, I can look a little um, weird. And every day I kind of just wing this, like there's really no rhyme or reason to what shape my eyebrows are gonna take this day. If I'm honest, I haven't had my eyebrows like properly done in a long time. You know, I'm lucky that my hair is light so I can get away with doing that. And sometimes like one will turn out really good like this one, and this one will like turn out really not good, so I gotta kind of just fix her up. That's better. Okay, they look fine. Then I'm just gonna go through with this and make sure nobody's out of line. Cool. And then since my brows are done, I can go back in and do a little highlight under my eye with some eyeshadow. I use this sparkly one from my Anastasia palette and I'll put that, what the name of that is, in the description as well because I don't know what it is right now. And I just do like on my brow and then a little bit like on the inside of my eye just for some extra sparkle. I've reached the point in my life where it is, life is too short to not wear sparkly or glitter every day, so we're doing it. So then to finish off my eyes, I'm gonna take some of that same color that I used in my crease on a little tiny brush and just go underneath my eye. I just think it makes it look a little bit more tied together. Okay, so then I take a pencil eyeliner and I like to use a brown one instead of black because I think it's less harsh. And I just go on my waterline right here. And then my other eyeliner, my liquid one. And we've established that I can't talk while I'm doing this, so sorry about that. And then depending on the day, I'll do a wing or not. Really, really just is how I'm feeling that day. And the eyeliner that I use is a NYX one. It is exactly like the Kat Von D one that I used to use, but we no longer use because she's canceled. It's better and cheaper, so. So then I have two things left, well three things left, but I always do my lipstick last, so. I do my setting spray before my mascara because that way my mascara doesn't get all like gloopy under my eyes and stuff, so we're gonna do this. Normally I use the Make It Forever one, which is really, really good. It's like the best one I've ever used, but it's also $40, so we are moving away from that. I, I've been using this Wet n Wild one. Again, I got it for like $4, and it's good. It's really, like it's a good spray, but it smells really weird, so I'll probably keep looking, but anyway. And then we'll do mascara. So the one I've been using lately is this like voluminous whatever situation. Honestly, I'm of the opinion that mascara is not something that's worth spending high-end money on because it goes bad in three months anyway. So 
if I'm gonna spend money on something high end, it's gonna be like a foundation or like a skincare thing, you know? And very last step, we're gonna do lipstick. The ones I've been loving and pretty much wearing exclusively have been the Maybelline Matte Ink ones. I've talked about these before. They're amazing, perfect, wonderful. I have like 10 colors. They stay on forever. They're super cheap. They're amazing. Cool. So my makeup is done, which means I guess we are finished here. I'm glad I finally did this. It was fun and I hope that you like it. I'm gonna put all the product names down in the description and I will see you next time. That's all for now. Okay, bye.